A man was executed last March in connection with the shooting deaths of three Alabama police officers. But his sister continues a fight to try and clear his name. First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti shows us what Michelle Vines is doing to spread her message. Although few in number, this group made itself heard this afternoon in downtown Youngstown. No justice! No peace! The peaceful protest was organized by Michelle Vines, the sister of an Alabama man who was put to death earlier this year for a crime she insists he did not commit. My brother is innocent and we're looking for clemency and exoneration. Even, a, even after his passing? Even after his passing. We won't stop until we get it. Nathaniel Woods was convicted as an accomplice in the 2004 shootings of four Birmingham police officers, three of whom died, even though prosecutors admitted at the time he never pulled the trigger. The convicted shooter, Carrie Spencer, now sits on Alabama's death row. He confessed to shooting and he also confessed that my brother had no clue, no knowledge, and played no part. Save me! Save me! Save as the protesters walked their way around downtown, a few more joined the group, chanting Woods' name and that he was murdered, along with others pictured on some of their signs. A lot of these men and women on this board was treated very unfairly, and many, many more before them. I think it needs to stop. In this time of heightened awareness of civil rights, the group hopes its message hits home. We know that all lives not matter, but we want to be seen. We want to be heard, and we don't. We want everybody acknowledged. I'm told Woods' family has reached out to Alabama's governor for clemency, but has not heard if he'll take up their case. In Youngstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.